Menstruation is a normal, natural, necessary process, just like the flow of a river. On any given day, 1.9 billion girls and women are menstruating all around the world. But half of these girls had zero knowledge of menstruation before their first cycle and lacked the resources to manage their periods. The truth is, not everyone has the same access to resources, infrastructure and knowledge about menstruation. And this can be complicated by many different factors. This reality affects girls and women across the world and particularly society's most vulnerable such as asylum seekers and refugees, incarcerated women, and women experiencing homelessness. The deprivation of basic sanitary conditions is known as menstrual poverty. In Brazil, for example, 713,000 girls lack access to a bath or shower in their home and over 4 million girls lack access to basic items in their schools, such as soap or toilet paper. Menstrual poverty can also stem from harmful cultural and social taboos. Misconceptions and stigmatization about menstruation can lead to gender inequality and the exclusion of girls and women from all kinds of roles and settings. Even if menstruating women can and have competed in the Olympics, run marathons, traveled to space, held leadership roles, served as judges and held religious offices, menstrual poverty still prevails. And it is not only girls and women who suffer from menstrual poverty, but the environment as well. Even though it's important to facilitate access to period products for all, they do generate huge amounts of waste. In Brazil, for example, nearly 6 billion sanitary products are discarded annually. We need to collectively devise more sustainable solutions for our environment, together with industry and the scientific community. Menstrual poverty is a troubling, mostly hidden reality. But if we join forces, together we can reflect on and debate possible solutions. To transform menstrual poverty into menstrual dignity for the thousands of affected girls and women, we must rehydrate and oxygenate the discussion, making this a key public health issue. Improving general access to information and resources, promoting scientific innovation and engaging in political activism are all ways we can contribute. By uniting the voices speaking out and multiplying the opportunities for dialogue, we can break the silence surrounding menstrual poverty once and for all.